Hey Cougar fans, we're here with USF head men's basketball coach Chris Johnson whose team dropped an 81-68 decision to Upper Iowa here at the Stewart Center. The Cougars now head on the road to play at Minnesota Moorhead, a nationally ranked team in Northern Iowa, Northern State. Chris, uh, talk a little bit about the game. Uh, you got a good performance from Kibu Johnson who tied a career high, but you struggled a little bit offensively, didn't you? Yeah, we just never could get in any rhythm. Uh, you know, until you watch the film, you're not sure. Uh, right now, I think it was a lot to do with them. They played hard. Upper Iowa had a, a good plan defensively uh, compared to the last time we played them, and I thought they, they did a nice job. And then we just we, we shot ourselves in the foot. We turned it over a little bit. We, we didn't finish plays around the rim when we had a chance early, and I thought that just kind of bled into the night. And then eventually our lack of being able to score kind of, you know, leaked into our defense, and then we, we started making some mistakes on that end of the ball. It was just one of those nights, you know. I mean, I uh, guys were trying. They want to win. They want to do the right things. We just we just had one of those nights where we made too many mistakes, and things uh, didn't go well for us. Upper Iowa had a 23-5 to edge at the free throw line. Now they shot 26 attempts, U11, but it seemed to me that they were driving continuously mm -hmm. to the basket and creating opportunities for them at the line. Uh, you just couldn't get your guys into the lane tonight? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was an officiating deal. I really don't at all. I, I thought they were aggressive, and I thought we played on the perimeter a lot tonight, and that's just not not who we are when we're good. You know, uh, we took 25 threes and only made seven. Uh, you know, and I don't know how many of those were bad shots. I mean, a lot of them were open. We just we didn't, we didn't uh, stay aggressive and play inside out like we like to. You know, we didn't... Uh, you know, continue to throw the ball inside. And I think, you know, when we're not finishing, I thought we just kind of went away from that a little bit. We tried to force the issue to start the second half and really pound it in there, but we just, you know, again, we just didn't finish plays. A freshman, Drew Giebert, uh, had his second straight, uh, I think, 15-point performance. He also grabbed nine rebounds, which is a career high for the freshman. Um, he's starting to play better. He's getting good looks and not fe being afraid out there to take some shots. No, I don't have to ask Drew to shoot, you know, and that's I, I, I love that about him. You know, as a freshman, sometimes you have to coax guys into being aggressive, and I don't. Uh, tonight was by far the best he's been on the glass. Uh, nine rebounds in, I don't know, it was about 25 minutes. I thought he did a really nice job. Uh, you know, he's a freshman, still makes some some scheme mistakes uh, at times on, on the defensive end, but he's, he's working really hard and he's getting better every night out. And I think, you know, our fans are starting to see a guy who's got a chance to maybe be special down the road here. Yeah, he, he, he had some moments tonight, definitely. Now, what do you have to do to rebound from a one-on-one -on -one weekend? Like you said uh, before this interview started, uh, you, had a tough, you have a tough road trip. Moorhead's nationally ranked Northern State poison one of the most difficult arenas for opponents to come into. Yep. What, I, what's next? The, the, the most important thing, Monday, practice. Okay. Tuesday, practice. When, you know, and, and, and it's not coach speak. I mean, we've got to have a better week of preparation. And, uh, you know, we've got to find that mindset that we're going to go, you know, ch tackle a big challenge this weekend and find a way. And uh, I thought we had that last night. I thought we played really well. You know, and we just... For whatever reason it'll be, when I watch the film, we just couldn't find it tonight. So we need to find it this week in practice, get our confidence back, and get rolling again. I, I uh, forgot to mention, the, the one kid, uh, Kibu Johnson, really uh, mm -hmm. played well. 28 minutes, 14 points, and his 6 of 7 for the floor. One of the kids that was really taking the ball to the basket and giving up our Iowa problems, right? I thought Kibu was our best player on both sides of the ball, and I don't think it was that close tonight. He was really good. Uh, yeah, the only thing I wish you would have done is that pick up that fourth foul call 90 feet away from the basket. Other than that, I thought Kibu, I mean, he had five assists on top of that, only turned it over one time. Uh, he's been a rock, and uh, tonight he was trying to drag guys with him. I mean, he really was on the bench, vocally, on the floor. Uh, I thought that was one of Kibu's better games, and he's going to have to continue to do that. When people guard him the way they're currently guarding him, he's got to get downhill for us and get to the rim, and he's done that the last three games. Now we have a log jam at, in the NSSC South yeah. again. A bunch of teams at 5-5 five and five, all sit in third place. You're 10-6 and six overall, solid mark. Um, you, what's next in your mind? What do, what do you have to get this team ready to do on Monday? 
Well, I, I think, you know, we've got to find a way to put back-to-back -back nights together. And uh, I don't know if that's changing how we're preparing. Uh, we'll meet as a staff, you know, tomorrow and start figuring that out. Uh, but we've, we've done a good job of finding a way to, you know, win one every weekend. Uh, it's getting those twos. Now, when you go on the road, you, you, your splits are fine. But we've split twice at home, and that's not... That's not something we've normally done here. You know, outside of last year, we've been really good in here, and we've got to find a way to, to protect our home floor. But more, more than that is how do we bounce back from a positive Friday night and keep that edge for Saturday? But we'll find it. Thanks, Coach. Uh, good luck next week. Thank you.